results and movement in your coaching business. Um, and I've tried to change the title of this six times. So I'm going with it. Whatever is going on, it doesn't want to change the title of this. Um, so I'll go back and amend it afterwards. But there's three core activities that I know for sure create a like movement and momentum in my business but they're the exact ones that create movement and momentum in my client's business too and normally they're the things that people want to avoid that they don't want to do because it, it kind of triggers emotions in you so like it'll trigger you know oh can I really do that am I being too much am I being overbearing am I um being a nuisance to people am I annoying people am I um being too salesy am I um there's a lot of am I, am I, am I, am I, am I, the list can go on. But these are the three core activities that will actually see the difference um, in the momentum that you're creating in your business. So I'm like, look, you can absolutely ignore what I'm saying. And I promise you, you will still have the same results in three, six, 12 months time, I promise. Or you can just get uncomfortable today and really double down on these because they're proven to work time and time again, and they're not overly difficult either. You don't need to be like you don't need to have a massive team behind you you don't need any team at all behind you to be able to do this but it does make all the difference and unfortunately because we live in the beautiful world that has so much social media and um, so many things accessible there's kind of been this pathway um carved out and i suppose really driven forward that if you do certain things in business, you automatically get clients. And very few people really talk about, well, actually, here's the foundations that you need to have in place so that you can build on that and then create the scalable success. So um, I don't know if you've noticed from my content, the one thing that I don't do is focus on the cash that clients bring in. And the reason, and it's funny, because a client asked me that when she joined me last year, and she's like, how come you don't do that? And I'm like, because people tend to focus on the instant gratification. So it's like, if I just have this cash, then everything will be okay. But that's not true. Like I had a conversation with a lady yesterday who was sharing with me that she had a 7K week, which is incredible, right? She had a 7K cash week, amazing but then she hasn't made any consistent money since. Because when you focus on cash and you chase cash, like when you're chasing that money, you're chasing the ego-driven part of you that just wants the money. But if you have these foundations in place, you don't have to chase anything. It will flow to you. So really take stock of what I'm saying today. And like I said, it's going to require you to, um, you, you may be doing part of this already, 100% you may. Um, you may be doing all of it and you just need to double down a bit. You might be getting distracted by other things or maybe these are things that you've avoided. So what I tend to see when clients come to me is um, they either have this bit down, but they think it's not enough, so they don't double down on it, or it's the bit that they've been avoiding. So they kind of sit um, on one of the scales and you get to see which one you'd, you sit on. Um, so for those of you that don't know me, I'm Joanna Halloran. I'm a business mentor who supports coaches to be able to multiply their leads and multiply their income. Every single solitary one of my clients has generated an insane amount of leads, insane insane from organic strategies there's very simple ways um that i teach to be able to generate leads um, and in fact i have one lady at the moment i was I, I shared this yesterday on a different live um who is just booking sales calls to beat the band from her leads because once we doubled her down on her leads and where her leads were and who they were like i, I just i laugh every time she sends me a message like i've got another sales call i've got another sales call i've got another sales call oh my goodness i've got another sales call i don't know where this lady came from and i'm like yeah you do because you have this bit nailed down so let's look at these three um core activities and i'm calling them core because there's certain foundations that you need to have in place and i don't care what size you scale to these are core activities that you definitely want to be focused on so the very first one is connection are you connecting with actual human beings every day? So uh, let me give you an example. I had a conversation with a lady, not last year, the year before, and I remember, I can still remember her in front of me going, I worked with somebody who told me I had to send DM, like 100 DMs every day and I'm not doing that. And I'm like, well, what's the context of that, right? Because that as a sentence doesn't really mean anything, but what's the context of that? And she had been told to do cold DMs. Now, I'm not talking about that because I personally hate them. I will ignore them. And if somebody continues on with them, I'll call them out for it going, I have no interest in that. 
you don't even know me you we've had no connection beforehand this is pure getting energy not aligned with it bye bye right um so i'm not talking about that i'm talking about real connection like real connection so when you think about who your clientele is who um who are the people that you want to work with what is it that you want to support them with how are you interacting with them on a daily basis and I say this lovingly, most people operate in a very selfish mentality, whereas in the post content, um, maybe you'll do a live, um, maybe they'll put stuff on their stories, possibly an email here and there, but then they back off, right? It's like, well, if you want it, you'll find it. I don't want to be too pushy. But I'm here to tell you, that's a really selfish way to go about it because you're not actually being supportive for the person. Um, so for your, like your ideal client, the clientele that you want to work with, for them to know, first of all, know you, but second of all, um, for you to know them, right? It's not a one-way street, it's a two-way street. And um, from a business point of view, we've got to be able to create that connection. So ask yourself, like who, when you think of your, like, your clientele, how are you connecting with them every day? So yes, putting out content is like one element of it, but what about the rest? Are you actually having those connected conversations in DMs? Again, I'm not talking about cold messaging to sell, but I'm talking about, are you interacting with like their stories? Are you interacting with posts on social media? Are you having conversations um, around thing, like around various different things? And if you're not, that's where you get to go. So like th this is something that I, I'll just give you a, like a simple example, a simple example. If ever I'm doing a masterclass, um, I will always, anyone who registers for it, I'll always send them a voice message to say, thank you like here here's what we're going to be doing on the day what was the one thing that you'd love to get from it and i don't do that so that i can be like oh i know how i'm going to sell to you i do that so i can make sure that i touch on it during the master class because i give a shit about them so like that's one example let me go back a bit um to go okay how do i connect with people every day so like i'll have chats with my friends and they might be looking for something or they'll talk about something you know maybe that they're doing around the home or you know anything at all and my mind instantly goes to who do i who do we know that i can connect them with so that you're creating that connection so connection happens in multiple different ways it's not something that can be taught you have to be connected you have to want to connect um and you can't wait for people to connect with you so this is why i'm saying it might bring up some emotions for you it might make you feel uncomfortable and it's something that you need to get you need to get savvy with um, and make sure that you're not doing it just to get sales because that will always be a disaster, but you're doing it to genuinely connect. Like I had a conversation with a lady yesterday that I hadn't talked to in a while and just found out she's expecting a baby in June. Like, that's so lovely. Do you know, like there are things that you want to be able to celebrate with people. Is she my ideal client? Yes, she is. But I'm not connecting with her to make a sale. I'm connecting with her to connect. So make sure that that is one of the very first things that you're doing. That is a core activity that you want to make sure is a non-negotiable every day. The second one then, so the second one then is actually connecting with your leads. So the first one is connecting with your ideal client. The second one then is connecting with actual leads. Every single solitary person has leads in their, in their stratosphere, in their world, that they're just sitting there hoping that they're going to come and work with them. You have to be proactive and you have to connect with them. And the way that you can go about, like there's multiple ways to go about it and it depends on where you're at in the conversation with people. But I make one of them is, is to ask them, you know, like what their challenges are that they're facing right now and then support them with how they can overcome that challenge before you offer a sales to them. So um like I, i've often made sales in the dms and like i'm talking like the i'm talking like one-on-one -on -one clients in dms and paying full clients in dms and it all comes down to just having a conversation like you know they might respond to a poll that i have and i have a conversation with them to say you know like what is what is this like, thing that's challenging you right now why is that a challenge for you what have you done to get, move past that challenge um, and you get to do the same things with your leads so i literally use a spreadsheet it's nothing fancy in my world right i'm basic basic af and it works don't please don't ever feel that you need things to be complicated i had a lady one of my clients asked me there last week what systems do i use and i'm like we have our email system we have our course platform and then my va uses like different things for video editing but i'm like you don't need that until you have teams you don't need that so don't focus on the stuff 
that doesn't fucking matter. Focus on the things that does. What are your money making activities? So we literally use a spreadsheet, which has all of our leads on it. I know if they're hot and if they're warm, I don't even look at cold leads because that's not a lead, right? So hot and warm leads. Um, and I make sure that I connect with them. When I say every day, I will connect with leads every day. Obviously, I'm not going to be chasing somebody down. They get to be committed and responsible and um, decide that they are ready for action. That's not it's not my job. It's not your job to convince anyone to do this. People have got to be committed. Um, and this is like a, a gap that people I see happening so much. It's like, but I know I could help you. That's great. But they're not open to receiving the help. So it doesn't really matter because it's going to fall on deaf ears. And I'm like, um, I always remember this happening in like early 2022. I'll never forget it. I um I took on four new clients in one go, which was great. Um, and they were all a disaster. Every single one of them was a disaster. Not one of them was committed. They all had excuses. Um, and when I say excuses, is in they were not willing to do the work. They wanted to just show up, and it was like they wanted like something magic to happen for them um and spent their time giving out so I was like do you know what this is going to kill my energy so I end up giving them back the money but that was on me because I was in the getting energy of making a sale versus actually understanding the person understanding if they were truly a lead or was my ego driving this to go well I can help you but if they're not open to receiving it then they're not your ideal client right so just keep that in mind so we literally have a spreadsheet and I go through them Every day, every day. So I know where I'm at with each of my leads. I know where the conversations are at, where they're at. And then I have the conversations. Clients do the exact same thing. This is why they're seeing results. These two things so far are why they're seeing results. Now, the third one, the third one is what that most people will go, I'm not doing that. And I'm here to tell you, you're going to do it. You're going to do it. These things are the movement makers in your business always, always the movement makers, connection in general, connection with your leads. And then the third one is you've got to sell every day. So um, you have to remember you're a business, you're a business owner. And you may think that people know you're open for business because you put up a post or you put up a story, but not everybody's looking at things all the time. So this is why it's really important to not make it about you and the emotions that you feel and um, the thoughts that are coming up for you and the insecurities that you have because you're actually blocking other people being able to receive the services that you offer. Um, so keep that in mind. Whatever way you need to hear that to, for it to resonate, hear it. Like I used to write like things like this down and stick them on my office wall so that I could look at them every day and go like these are words that I use for me right so am I being selfish am I being manipulative am I avoiding I'm going to say manipulative am I manipulating myself so am I saying one thing out loud but not being in integrity with the thoughts that are running through my mind so I would post these things on my wall like literally put them on post-its on my wall so that I could look at them and connect with them on a daily basis and if something isn't working going Is this what I'm doing and if it is, then you get to change it. And like, don't get me wrong, you have got to be brave and courageous with, with these things. And like, <laughs> I'll share a story with you. <laughs> so like the, the person that's on there in front of you, I started being shit scared. Like, I mean, shit scared. I was like really insecure, um, like hated the thought of anybody thinking that I wasn't good or that I wasn't good enough. And like, if my mother asked me, um, you know, how many clients you have today would make me feel sick because I'd be like, oh my God, and I'm not good enough. Oh my God, I don't have clients. I haven't got a client every single solitary day. Therefore, this isn't good enough. She's judging me. I'm, I'm not like, the thoughts went crazy in my mind. So I get you. I feel you. I've been there. I've done it. And I've come out the other side. Um, but you want to you wanna support your mind with this too. So like, I remember the first time that I put up a sales post and a sales story without being in the master class so this was like oh, oh, like don't want to do it and I kid you not right this is the drama queen that, that I was and that I probably still am let's be honest I'm Leo redhead so probably still am so I literally had put up the post I did it on my phone and in true dramatic style flung my phone across the sitting room put a cushion over it and then went out for a walk so I wouldn't have to see the responses that came up. So like now I don't have any of my notifications or anything on my phone because I don't I don't have that need to look at it all the time I've moved past it. 
But I always remember that and I'm more than happy to share that story because we've all been there, right? This is what we do. This is how we feel. Um, and it's not like everybody has this uber confidence. It's not like people start out like how I'm talking right now. They don't, right? They don't. And it could take you one, two, three, four years to get there. That is totally fine. But the point being is that you move forward every single solitary day. So like the one thing I'll say to you is if I look at your social media right now, it doesn't matter what platform you're on, do I know you're open for business? And don't say, yeah, it's in my bio. That's you're asking me to actively go search on your page for something. Do I know? Is it super obvious? Is it on your story? Is it in a post? Like, can I actively see it? Is it pinned to your profile? So if the answer is no to them, then these are core activities that you get to do. So like even do things like things that we do. So when I say we, me and my clients do, that work really well is we say how many spaces we've opened and then we do the countdown with them. Now, I also know what's gonna come up for people with that is, yeah, but what happens if nobody, if nobody books a call or if nobody buys? That's a scarcity mindset. Why are you already deciding that that's gonna happen? You have to assume that people are going to. And you have to remember, think about how you buy things. How many times do you need to see things before you're like, I need that, or I want that, or now I feel like I'm ready? Think about how many times that happens for you. Is it the very first time you see it? No, why do you think there's so many ads on tallies, particularly at Christmas time for kids? Why do you think that is? Because it needs to be repetitive. Like I remember when I worked in home care and we were looking at um, taking our TV ads. Do you know how long statistically you have to run a TV ad for before you start to see traction on it? 12 months. So nobody would think twice about doing that, right? Because it's running. But you have to operate in the same way when you're online for your business. You have to be selling every day. So there are the three things that I would definitely focus on. And look, if you're in a situation where you're like, I need support with this, I really don't know what I'm doing, or the strategy I have is just not working, and I feel like I'm floundering and I just want to change that, then book a call with me. You don't have to suffer on your own. And I'll tell you this now, the majority of my clients, which this surprised me, by the way, when, the la when I did market research, um, earlier last year I was really surprised that the majority of the people in my audience and I can see it obviously in my clients but I didn't realize that this was who was in my audience the majority of people that are in um, my audience are people that have been coaches for like two to four years and are not seeing those consistent results there's no shame in that but you are responsible for how you move forward with it like for whether or not you actually take the action to get your strategy, mindset, leadership in place to be able to have what, what it is that you want and to be able to create that revenue, create that um, consistency. And if that's what you want, I have three spaces open right now for one-to-one -one, and that's it then for this year. They're they're done, they're gone because um, I've got clients renewing. So if this is something that you want, book your call. I've calls, for, I've calls available this afternoon. I have nothing tomorrow and then it'll be next week. So if you don't get in today, possibly they could be gone. Um, but it will be six months of us working together. I will build out your strategy with you. So the reason why my clients see such incredible results is because the strategy is built out to meet where you're at. So no other than a cookie cutter. So not everybody has the same strategy. In fact, they all have different strategies because they all have different focuses. Um, so yours would be to meet you where your business is at and based on the goals that you want to reach so that we get that solid foundations in and create that momentum. So if that's what you want, then the doors are open there for you and the call link is below. So I will talk to you all soon. Have a great day.